They give each other in the box. Box to you. My box to you. Oh, I got it. I got it. By George, I think I got it. By George, I think I got it. Thank you all for coming. Today we celebrated. Cinco de Mayo, Mother's Day, what else we have on me? Adonjitos, birthday. Okay, one, one more, one more. You guys have the sugar cookies, we have some more in there. We're gonna, we're gonna speak happy birthday to Mojito soon, and then we'll cut the birthday cake, okay? We have some soda, and Amy and her crew are gonna be taking pictures. Um, You've seen her before. Amy, what, what is, Amy is doing a project, what is this for? Hey everyone, I've met a bunch of you a few different times, um, but I'm working on a project on meetups right now, basically like examining how the internet brings people together. And so the Chihuahua meetup being like, number one. fine. Yeah, yeah, obviously number one. Number one. That's a good excuse to go to Guatemala. Yeah, yes, <laughs> precisely. We have Beverly Hills, we have Guatemala, we have Florida. In Florida, we have, we're getting deals to, to have South Beach and we have Orlando. <laughs> Oh and God. San Salvador too. Wow. So we came through Chihuahua our Nation. We're building a Chihuahua Nation. <laughs> Chihuahua, Chihuahua. And how old is he today? Mojito is six today. Wow. Happy birthday! Mojito is six, back seven, of that forty-two. He's a big man. Big man that mommy's holding. <laughs> He's complaining. Huh? Let me get a picture of you too. We're gonna say happy birthday with his cake, huh? It's a human cake. <laughs> One more. That's cute. Ah, That's great. Good mojito. Hi, how are you? Welcome. Ready for your close up? Oh, where is the two year hat? The hat? This? Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Talk about confusion. <laughs> Let's stand in front of that tree right there. I think that the only reason people know who I, I mean, the small pool of people who do know my work, well, whoever they are, um, really the only reason that they know my work is because of the internet. Um, I've always been, I've always like embraced digital tools. Like I still remember my first AOL screening. Um, and it sounds so stupid, but I just was always obsessed with my AOL profile to like an insane degree. Like I met my roommate off MySpace. She's my best friend. Um, so it's like the internet has like been yeah, kind of like a huge part of your development. Yeah, exactly. And then when it came to finding what I wanted to do with the rest of my life, it was like with photography, I just wanted to share my work with people. And luckily, like probably around the time when I went to school, it's like that was the height of the photo blog. So I felt like I was had a community at last. I love that. <laughs> like that. Show your pretty dress. Yes, yes. Let's get a pick. Who made who made those? Did you make you're you're amazing. Like can you hold them down a little bit more? I was just saying to my friends, I never know like what's a dog tree. <laughs> Can I get a picture of you too? Cool. Let's do one more. Okay. Whenever people see videos or like photos of me photographing, like if they end up on Facebook or Instagram or something like that, it's always this one professor that will comment on it and it's like, we're gonna chip in to buy Amy a flash bracket. But by the way, it's by choice. I do what I want. Oh my God. How can you not be happy when you look at that? Like that is just the cutest thing. It's like squad. I mean, have you found any um, downsides to that though? Like
like primarily sharing your work online or posting, I don't know, some of your best images on like, Tumblr and things like that? The biggest downfall is probably just people stealing your work. Um, but aside from that, I feel pretty optimistic about it. Like I like being able to share the work that I make um, with people because it, it's like the main point of happiness in my life. And, like why wouldn't I want to share that with everyone in the world? You know what I mean? Yeah. And so with Visco, you are working with them because you got a grant. Um, yes. So tell us a little bit more about that. So Visco, I mean, they're basically just like a huge support. Um, both financially but and also helping me fine-tune the project as a whole conceptually and just to have their support is like huge huge I think we're gonna head. I think we're gonna head out. But okay. thank you so okay. much for having us. Okay. Good to see you. Okay. Oh, can't wait to see pictures. Yes, I will send them to you in like two days. Okay. Cool. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Have a good rest of your weekend. So I began this project in, I guess it was almost two years ago, kind of like accidentally. And I had been wanting to go to like a, a pool party with dogs because I photograph animals quite a bit. Um, and so I came across this Staten Island pug pool party. It was a meetup from the Staten Island pug meetup. Um, did not have a pug. I had just gotten a dog at this point, I think, something like that. and. I was just kind of amazed at the sense of community of all these people coming together from the internet. Um, and I guess over the next few years, I just found myself going to more meetups. And it's where people congregate from the internet in real life around very specific interests or commonalities. Um, and I guess like what interests me most about this project is the idea that in 2015, it's really a choice to be alone. Um, there's just so many platforms and opportunities to connect with people nowadays. Um, so you could have some like really obscure interests and you feel like there's no one around you that can relate, but it's like in some like dark corner of the internet, someone else feels the same way that you do. Um, so this is one of my favorite meetups that I've ever been to. Um, this is the New York Harry Potter meetup. I really truly mean this when I say it, like they are probably some of the nicest people that I've ever met and photographed and they just welcomed me with such open arms. It's not always the easiest situation to go into someone's like, private social circle and be like, hey, let me photograph you and let me spend the day with you even though I am, you know, basically an outsider. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna get off here. Today's my 27th birthday. <laughs> That's sick. I love it. What do you think? There's a Teletubby on the front of their car. <laughs> Obviously, I had to take a picture. Right now, we are going to go meet the Yo-Yo Meetup. Um, they meet every Sunday in Washington Square Park here in New York City. Um, I met them for the first time yesterday. It was uh, National, I believe, Yo-Yo Day and hung out with them in Bay Ridge for a bit. Um, but this is sort of like their normal Sunday thing where they'll show each other tricks. Um, and they're interesting because it's like a wide range and scope of people. So anywhere from 10 years old to 65. So we'll see what they're all about and yeah. Joe? I'm looking for Joe. I'm looking for Joe. Oh, hey, Amy. Hi. Lombard. Yes, nice to What's your name? Brian Melford. Nice to see you, Brian. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. Yeah. I can actually see Joe. Joe is straight over there. We haven't told him that we moved. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where is so he? Bad, but everybody's lazy and doesn't want to walk over and then tell him, like, yeah, hey, Joe, no, you don't want to walk well, over You guys have, like, a nice spot right here. It's, like, so in the shade. Me? Yeah. me? Yeah. Well, that'll be good one day, right? I wouldn't sell you a scratch card right now. What was that? I wouldn't sell you a scratch card. <laughs> I feel so bad because you really haven't. Oh, just wait, let me get my yo-yo. Does anybody mind being photographed? Not at all. So I'm working on a I have, I have media side. releases for the group, but I don't Can know where they are. Side. Okay, cool. Wait, show me, how is it doing that again? It has bearings on these sides. Okay, so then you like take it off and then you spin it. It just goes like that, okay. Oh, I see. 
Those are the outer hubs, though. Yeah. Wow. It's like heavier than I thought it would be. This is cool. This is my rarest yo yo. Your most expensive. It's well, not the rarest. It's the rarest and most expensive. How much was it? That turning point is actually more rare. $500? It's made out of my titanium. The yo yo called yo yo is more rare than that. I got one from so well, there's a lot more positrons than those. They're, they only made 25 of those. But in that specific colorway? In that specific colorway, but this has no colorways made of titanium and there's only 25. There's only 25? How many? Only 25 that exist? In the world, yes. Yeah. Where did you buy that? Uh, I waited online. His girlfriend bought a family. <laughs> and I bought it when they dropped. That's a good uh, girlfriend. Ex girlfriend. Oh. Uh oh, okay. Not well, a good ex girlfriend. I still have the yo yo's. So <laughs> I guess I will. That's the last one in the relationship. Well, I, I think that one of my like better skills as like a photographer and general human being is that I'm kind of able to adapt and go with the flow. Um, I can kind of be put in any situation and not really be phased by anything, um, which I think is like why people will send me to a strip club for 20 hours to photograph or like go live at the Bunny Ranch for a week, you know what I mean? And it was just kind of natural for me also because I grew up in this family where my father has this ability to just talk to anybody on the street and I always felt like I was kind of a shy person. but when I'm in these situations, it's like, oh, tell me about your life. Like, can I come hang out with you one day while you do X, Y, Z? Um, so I feel pretty lucky that I have this kind of skill. And I always get this like stupid comment from like male photographers who are like, oh, it's easier for you because you're a girl. You can go in these situations. And it's like, I'm sorry that I have more balls than you do. <laughs> Anything you uh I still have my publication and my smoke. You have that brand in there.